everybody. We've got a short video today. Uh, this is not a complicated proverb, but it was an important one and I didn't want to skip it. So this is Proverbs 15, 5. A fool despises his father's instruction, but whoever heeds reproof is prudent. A fool despises his father's instruction. What's the short point I want to make today? The Bible is very, very pro-dad, right? The Bible is very pro-dad. The Bible views fatherhood as a good thing. And I'm not going to go off on a rant, although I could and probably have before, about how fatherhood is minimized and attacked and downplayed, even in the church, unfortunately. And a lot of this i found stems from the way we relate to our dads. And I'll, man, there's some rotten dads out there. I'm not trying to put that down, but you know, I am a father myself and I, I had a father, of course, and so did you. And uh, as I've thought about this more, very often the, the resentment that folks hold toward their dad, especially when they're young, has a lot to do with the, the nurturing and caring side of things. You know, we say, my dad didn't say he loved me. My dad didn't hug me enough. And I, I'm, that's all something that needs to be addressed. But I'm not going to really jump on that right now. What the Bible, and, and I think just nature shows us in general, is that the dad's role is primarily as the instructor. Dad is there to show his kids what is good and what is right, to set an example for them. And I think many of us have found that while when we were young, maybe we didn't uh, care for the way our dads treated us. And again, not saying it's right, but I'm trying to make a different point. But as we got older, we realized the things he said were good and the way he lived was a good example to follow. God himself is revealed to us as the father of his son, Jesus Christ. So two lessons we want to pull from this. Number one is the obvious one, especially if you're a young man, heed your father's instruction. Even if it's got to be one of those do as I say, not as I do things, heed your father's instruction. Watch the way he lives his life. Listen to what he has to say and pick up on that because when you're older, you're going to appreciate it. And with all the exceptions in the world, I think in most cases, that's good advice. And second of all, dads, don't be afraid to parent your children. Don't be afraid to be the instructor, to be the man of the house. You know, we, we have this pressure sometimes on us as fathers that we essentially have to be mothers in order to be good fathers. That's not true. Your love is just as strong, but it's a different kind of love. Teach them, show them, your sons and your daughters. I, I've met many fathers that were afraid or, or thought their kids didn't want to hear from them. I promise you they do. Your sons want to learn how to fish and work on their car and how to tie a tie and how to talk to a girl. Your daughters want to hear what a good man ought to be and they want to see you be protective of them. And we all can learn how to do it better. But all I want to do today is remind us that the Bible is pro-dad. Listen to your father, be a good father, and Guys, we're men. God made us men. Fathers are different than mothers, and they're both necessary, and they're both good. God bless y'all.